The first team All-America honor for Minnesota's Tori Dixon was the first of her career. Ask her and she will tell you that her postseason honors the last two seasons have gone hand in hand with the hiring of Hugh McCutcheon to Minnesota. The former national coach has won medals with both the men's and women's Olympic teams. He's now hoping to become the next Big Ten team to win a national title. Carol Lentz with how he is trying to take the Gophers there. The idea for me of repeatability is a, a very central part of, I guess, how I want our athletes to, to play, that they can execute a given fundamental skill with a certain degree of required proficiency for a long period of time. Maybe at the national team, you've got to be able to do skill X 99 times out of 100, and here you can probably get away with 9 out of 10, but you've still got to be really good. At the end of the day, when you're an athlete, you, you want to be standing out there knowing that you've got what it takes to win the, the next point, not, not hoping. Hugh McCutcheon, the 2012 United States Olympic volleyball head coach in London, left a lifetime of professional volleyball to take the reins at Minnesota, arriving in Minneapolis during the third week of the 2012 you're season. Your feedback, then you got to ask them, right? Most of the first couple of days, I was just trying to learn everyone's names, and uh, my wife had spent more time following the team than I had. But as you would imagine, I was consumed. It was all fairly risky, I think, for everyone involved. We all came in with an open mind and just tried not to expect anything because we just didn't know. So it's just kind of a big question mark through the whole process. I think just his presence in the gym just made us want to work harder and like do the best that we could for him because we just, we just looked up to him because obviously he's been through everything. He's played, he's coached, he's been at such a high level. It's the right idea. Just make better content. McCutcheon wasted no time in printing his stamp on the Gophers starting with middle blocker Tori Dixon. Tori's a good place to start. Shoulders were parallel to the net, quite tight to the center, very limited in her range. Oh, nice. So you gotta make sure that you're slow and then fast so that when she contacts you, you're up. He's very into fundamental efficiency and you know doing things the right way and the proper way. Second, when you get it in tight, you spin faster and you get on it much better. Once I learned how to hit a volleyball correctly, it's just, it's easy, I see everything. You get your body to the ball. If it's going this way, then I go this way. I don't stand here and swing to it. We work on a lot of sprawling. We work on side layouts. Nice touch. Ash, what a good move. We work on pancakes. We learned the whole game, and we learned volleyball from scratch. Hey, that's kind of... Dixon took full advantage of McCutcheon's tutelage earning an invite to train with USA Volleyball this past summer. I guess I kind of went in there not knowing what to expect. I was really happy because a lot of the things that USA Volleyball was working on were things that we've been doing at Minnesota Volleyball, um, probably because, you know, he was the coach for all that, so they keep the same drills, and it was just all really familiar. The, the speed with which the, the national team plays and the, the level of execution that they have and the, the competitiveness, the, the way they go about doing their job, uh, I think it's a, it was a huge lesson. And I think, you know, she's brought a lot of that back into this gym. This season, Dixon earned All-American honors, and McCutcheon guided the Golden Gophers to their second consecutive appearance in the NCAA Regionals. We can develop a, a strong program, continue to honor the history of this program, and continue to be good, but it's gonna take a lot of work. We still have a ways to go, but it's nice that we're, we're making some shifts. Yeah!